Hey guys, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today, I've got another fabulous Jackie Chan flick. It is Robert Klaus's 1980 hit, well, not hit because not many people saw it and it didn't launch Jackie Chan in the United States. But guys, it's Battle Creek Brawl. And this one is insanely fun and shamefully overlooked. You gotta check this one out. Let's go, let's get into this one. Here is Battle Creek Brawl. Battle Creek Brawl is a ridiculously underappreciated Jackie Chan film, which is mostly known for being the legendary action star's first attempt at breaking out into the US cinema scene. Packed to the gills with explosive action, memorable characters, and a young and fierce Jackie Chan filled with piss and vinegar, the movie sets the stage for a role-licking brawl that never ceases to entertain. With its charming 1930s setting and its playful atmosphere, Battle Creek Brawl is a film that sadly slipped by the public's eye without notice, but it really is a movie that you need to see for yourself, especially if you're a hardcore Jackie Chan fan. Let's face it, the guy is a living legend, and this film showcases him in a fun and extremely charming light. Get to brawling, Jackie! The film follows a young Asian-American martial artist named Jerry Kwan, who after defending his family's place of business from a gang of mobsters who want their protection money, Jerry is flung into a series of events that allow him to show off his prowess as a seasoned fighter. With his brother's fiancé kidnapped by the mob, Jerry is forced by the gangsters to enter a brutal bare-knuckle fighting tournament called Battle Creek Brawl, where larger-than-life muscle-bound men fight to the last man standing. The bouts are savage and Jerry is extremely outweighed by his competitors, but fight after fight Jerry proves that he has what it takes to bring down the largest of foes. Will he make it to the final round and satisfy the mob's wishes, or will he find another way to thwart their plans? Either way it's going to be one hell of a show. Jackie Chan of course plays the role of Jerry Kwan, the Chinese martial artist living in 1930s America. The role seems tailor-made for Chan as he has taken on a great deal of period action films throughout his long spanning career, and with Battle Creek Brawl, it seems to be the precursor for what would come to be some of his most entertaining and adventurous movies. From his work on the Project A series to Mr. Canton and Lady Rose, and to an extent his performances in both the Shanghai films and Around the World in 80 Days, it would appear that Jackie loves mixing it up in these stylistic time periods, and is drawn to the wonder of the world during those eras. With Battle Creek Brawl, he gives an outstanding performance as the underdog of the story, making you believe that he can take on anything, even the gargantuan behemoths that he finds himself battling once the competition sparks to life. Though this film isn't as explosive as Jackie's other Hong Kong productions, it still packs quite a punch, and Chan is especially charismatic in this role. It's too bad that American audiences weren't ready for Jackie Chan's style of action, mixed with comedy because he does a tremendous job in this movie, and the film overall is an absolute blast. When it comes to the bad guys of the film, there's no shortage of them that's for sure. From the mobsters to the brawl competitors, this movie is jam-packed with outrageous heels that range from seriously evil to ridiculously cartoonish. H.B. Haggerty takes the cake as Kiss, the deadly fighter that bear hugs his opponents to death before he kisses them goodnight. Haggerty is a hoot in this flick, and the professional wrestler turned to character actor hams it up for the cameras as he delights in every punch to the face he gives out. In the end, Battle Creek Brawl is a tremendously entertaining Jackie Chan film, which in my opinion stands the test of time in showcasing a cinematic effort that really is a whole hell of a lot of fun to watch. 
from the comedy aspects of the movie to the rough and tough brawl sequences. This film really has a wide breadth of things going for it, and you have to admit that it carries itself with a surefire energy that always keeps things interesting. There really is never a dull moment in the film, and the amount of engaging characters on the screen at any given moment is an added plus in my book. Jackie is absolutely outstanding in this movie, and I'm not just talking about the fighting ability that he puts on display. I'm referring mostly to the presence that he brings to this film. There's a charisma and liveliness to his performance that really affects the entire cast, and you can tell even this early in his American debut that he would later be a force to be reckoned with within the cinema world. All in all, I've always had a soft spot for Battle Creek Brawl, because it just seems that the film has gotten an undeserved bad rap, and I'm just lucky that I can get such an extreme amount of enjoyment from a movie that is pretty much disregarded by the majority of Jackie Chan fans and martial arts enthusiasts. Regardless of the consensus, you should really give this film a chance. Like I said, it may not be one of Jackie's crowning achievements, but the charm and class of this movie is really top notch, and the fun to be had with this crazy movie is immeasurable. Battle Creek Brawl is bare knuckle fun. And guys, that is the ridiculously fun Battle Creek Brawl. Unfortunately, like I said, not many people know of this flick. And for some reason, not, not too many people like the flick. But you really should give it a chance because it is a classic Jackie Chan film. And it's just fun. It's pure fun. And I love the time period in the 1930s in this one. It looks beautiful. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that review, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, guys, I will see you at the next movie review. Take care.